and welcome to the Dennis Blood Map channel. Well, YouTubers, this is part three of the hands-on test of the Nikon D750. In this particular part of the video, we will do a series of outdoor video tests for the Nikon D750. What does video quality look like when shooting outdoors? Hello YouTubers, well here we are using the 50mm f1.4 G lens, in this case we have set it to f3.5 so it gives a good bokeh, a good blurring of the background but it is still very good for focusing and uh, I'm now going to change the aperture, let's go to f3.5 Fully, um, fully wide open f1.4 okay well here we are fully wide open shooting at f1.4 to give you a demonstration of the bokeh or bokeh capabilities of this lens and camera combination the Nikon D750 with the 50mm f1.4 G lens fully wide open. We are shooting with the Rode video microphone. And we are now shooting with the 85mm f1.8 G lens, but in this case we are shooting at an aperture of f2.8 as with everything shot in this outdoor section, we are shooting at 24 frames per second. So it is cinematic 1080p full HD video. So you can see what the video quality is. Well, YouTubers, here we are shooting with the 24 to 120 millimeter f 3.5 to 4.5 zoom lens. This was the kit lens that I had with my Nikon D700. Now, for this piece of video, it is actually shooting at 24 millimeters and f 3.5. So again, you can see what is what can be created when the lens is zoomed out. And now here we are at 85 millimeters using the same lens, so it's the 24 to 85 millimeter zoom, but this is now fully zoomed out, as I say, to 85 millimeters, and we are shooting at f1 point, correction, at f4.5. So again, you can see the video quality using this combination of camera and lens, as I say, the camera being the Nikon D750. Okay, here we are with the longest range zoom of the Blood Knocker Arsenal of lenses. This is the 70 to 200 millimeter f4 constant aperture lens. In this case we are shooting actually at f4 and we are fully zoomed out at 70 millimeters. And finally YouTubers, the 70 to 200 millimeter lens, the f4 constant aperture, but this time fully zoomed in at 200 millimeters, again shooting 1080p HD, full HD, 
at 24 frames per second, so cinematic HD. So see what you think of the video quality. Well, this is the Nikon D750 using the 85mm f1.8 lens. Now this is just to show the problem that we had earlier when we didn't quite get the manual focus correct. One of the weaknesses, in fact the only real weakness of the D750 is the fact that the autofocus for video is very well, it's very poor. The autofocus for stills is amazing, but the autofocus for video is more or less non-existent. This video is being shot at 24 frames per second at f2.8. But let's change the aperture of the lens. Let's go all the way out to f1.8. And here we are shooting at f1.8 so the lens is fully wide open and you can get to see the bokeh the lack of depth of field the fact that what's behind me will be out of focus where i am in focus so see what you think of the quality of the video